Hey guys, back again with another review for you. I uh, hope you enjoy this one. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I am going to be reviewing a variable voltage, variable wattage device for you here today. Uh, normally, I'm not too much of a fan of the electronic devices other than the Proveri, which is my, my kind of go-to vape throughout the day. But other than that, I normally stick to mechanical mods, rebuildable drippers, rebuildable uh, jennies, uh, things like that. But go ahead and... Uh, show you this one now this is the iTaste VV um, the, there's a, a few different kits that you can get uh, the first kit that you can get is the express kit which will just come with the device the charger and the wall block um, this particular one is the 10s uh, which means that the design of it is a little bit different because it actually has this cap that can fit right onto the top and covers your 10s clearmizer um, so I like this one. I picked this up in a co-op, and I'm awfully fond of this one above and beyond the other ones, simply because of the little cap style that leaves just a nice, really discreet design. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, review this for you here today, and kind of give you a little information and let you know what I think. Um, but just to give you an idea of what it comes with in the box, obviously, you have the box uh, here, which comes with a few different things. Uh, first thing that you'll notice is you are going to get five of uh, these little clearmizers here. These are one milliliter dual coil clearmizers and actually just work fantastic. I've, I've been really, uh, really happy with them. So you're going to get five of those. Alright, the next thing you're actually going to get, and this is cool that they include this, but the micro USB cord and the wall block. Not a lot of devices are coming with uh, the chargers anymore so awesome that they actually include this for you. Alright, um, so you're going to get five clearmizers, the wall block, the iTaste, uh, or the, uh, the iTaste charger, and of course the iTaste VV itself. Um, so just kind of go over the breakdown with you. Obviously, you have the cap here. You got your iTaste uh, 10 clear miser, which is, again is a one milliliter dual coil clear miser, and then the device itself. Now, the device, although it does take the uh, 10 the iTaste 10 clear misers, uh, it also does have a designated 510 connection. Um, so awesome little uh, connection there. Obviously with pretty much any other uh, uh, tank you're not going to be able to use the cap which is why I've actually been sticking to the the 10S clear misers but um, you do have the option to choose to use any other uh, 510 connection tank that you would like but the clear miser that it comes with does fit extremely nicely on there so I'm really liking that um, so that's everything that it comes with. I want to go ahead and cover features with you, and then I'll just kind of give you the uh, general idea of what I'm thinking about it and kind of how I uh, think it works. Um, so it is a variable voltage, variable wattage device. It'll go from 3.3 to 6 or 5 volts, sorry, 3.3 to 5 volts or 6 um, to 11 watts. Um, now the nice thing about this one, which you don't see in a lot of kind of lower end, so to speak, um, devices other than like maybe the Proveri and you know, higher end devices like that, is it does have a uh, uh, overload protection. So if your ohms are too low, it's not going to fire it and ruin the entire device. Um, it also comes with the infamous, I'll show you here, I taste puff counter. Oops, if I could flip it over the correct way for you. There we go. Uh, so you got the I, the I Taste Puff Counter, which is you know ever kind of ever so popular ever since they released the I Taste MVP. Um, so that's been extremely bat, uh, popular there. You got the uh, the traditional battery indicator, red, uh, yellow, and then green depending on your battery level. Uh, you got the micro USB connection right down there. Uh, so obviously with that micro USB connection being on the bottom, you've also got the pass-through um, that you're going to be able to use, so vape and charge at the same time. Um, obviously you are going to be able to turn it on and off with just three clicks of the button, that will turn it on 
uh, or off. Um, so you have that as well. Um, it also has a, uh, a settings, what they call a settings retention. Um, so basically, if you're switching back be back and forth between wattage and voltage, um, say you set it at 5 volts, and then you switch over to watts, and set it at 7 watts, and then you switch back, it's going to remember that you were at 5 volts and vice versa. Um, so awesome little feature there, so you're not messing around with your settings the entire time. But my favorite part about doing these reviews, obviously, letting you know how they work. So I just want to go ahead and take a puff here and kind of give you an idea. Now the juice I'm using is just a high caliber 50-50 blend, um, so nothing crazy. Um, actually, I, I wouldn't think that you would want to use anything above maybe a 50-50 as far as VG goes, uh, just because these clearomizers are so small. Um, so you know maybe you want to try that. I don't know, but I'm kind of sticking with the 50-50 blend as far as using those clearomizers. So an awesome vapor production all around. Like I said, I am really liking this device. Um, but again, an awesome vapor production. Uh, it's It gives a good, really good flavor. I noticed that the vape is a bit warm. I'm thinking that that's because the clear miser is so small and it is a dual coil. So I am, I'll go ahead and try this again, but I am getting a pretty warm vape. And I am only running at 8 watts, so I'm not running at anything crazy. Um, so, just kind of a, uh, an 8 watt, you know, just kind of conservative vape here. Um, the one thing I have noticed is it does scratch pretty easy on this finish. Um, there are a few different colors. I went with the silver, uh, but the, the finish does actually scratch pretty easy. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, you can kind of see one scratch. Uh, right here, but you can kind of get the idea another scratch right there um, You can kind of get the idea of it, but it does scratch a bit easy That was really my only complaint about this device. Um, I kind of had to keep it separate from my uh, my keys in my pockets um, Other than that just an awesome device all around now there are, again, a few different versions of this particular device. There is the Express Kit, um, which is just going to come with the battery, uh, the charger, charging cable, and the wall block. So nothing crazy there. You can pick that up at a, a few different places. We'll go ahead and uh, cover where you can pick these up. Um, but the downside to what I have to say in this review is that I've only been able to find this particular kit uh, with the 10S clear misers directly from Anoka and I had to pick it up through a co-op. Uh, I'm not seeing that any resellers are carrying it yet, which is kind of a shame because out of all the kits that they're carrying, it is my favorite one. They also do make one with the iClear 16s, but again, the uh, the one with the 10S clear misers is the only one that's going to work with the cap. Um, so that was kind of the disappointing part there. Um, so again, a few different places that you can actually uh, pick this up. Uh, one of the places that I found it cheapest for was actually Fast Tech. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I want to pull up um, the price for you on Fast Tech. I don't know if any of you have ever visited Fast Tech, um, but I've actually found quite a few different things there and have been really happy with their customer service as well as you know their shipping times. Their shipping time it, it could be a little bit faster. It is coming from China, um, but still good customer service in, in response to any complaints that I've had or you know issues that I've had for that matter. Uh, so you can pick the one up with the iClear 16 for just 40 bucks on FastTech, F-A-S-T-T-E-C-H.com. If you just search iTasteVV, that'll pull up all the options, the different color options. As far as the different color options, they give you the option between the Pearl Chrome, which is the one that I had, the Chameleon, uh, which is kind of a, a little bit of a different color. It's almost like kind of a light brown bronze, the black, and then the white. Um, 
the the silver that I have, the pearl chrome, seems like it may scratch like one of the easiest, the black maybe as well, I'm not sure about the others. Uh, if you want to provide feedback in the comments section of this video, any feedback you'd like to provide would be awesome. Uh, also any feedback about, uh, you know, just in general what you're thinking of this product. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now before I did this review and I've just been super happy with it. Uh, so uh, again, the only complaint that I have is maybe that it scratches a little bit too easy. You know, I keep my Proveri in my pocket with my keys all the time and have had no issues with scratches. But obviously you're looking at the difference between a $200 device and a, a $40 device. So again, you can pick the the ones with the iClear 16, which I would probably recommend. I would pick up the ones at least with the iClear 16. Um, so you can pick that up on FastTech.com for just 40 bucks. Um, there also are a lot of, I won't go specifically into it, but if there are a lot of other um, actually places on the web where you can pick this up. If you just go to Google and all you're going to need to do is search iTaste VV uh, and you'll be pulled up with a laundry list of, uh, of just places that, that you can pick this up. But places I, the place I have found the cheapest with the iClear 16, 40 bucks on fasttech.com. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Um, I would like to, you know, say that this is just an awesome device. I've had zero complaints with it whatsoever. Like I said, other than the scratching, which is not a huge issue to me, but um, all around happy with it. Uh, so I would say if this is something that you're interested in, uh, sounds interesting, go ahead and pick it up. I would say it's worth the 40 bucks. Also, if you're on the Facebook groups, the co-op groups, everything like that, maybe see if someone will run one for the 10s. Um, I don't think it would be too big of a deal. The minimum order quantity uh, for Noken on that is like 50 is all. Um, so it's not really too many. It would be pretty easy to throw together a co-op if you or want to find someone else to do it. You know, that would be pretty easy. So um, any feedback you guys would like to provide about this video as I am a new reviewer would be fantastic. So go ahead and leave that in the comments. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you'd like it. Any feedback you'd like to provide about me, anything like that. If I'm a little too crazy to be doing reviews, you know, maybe let me know. Um, but that's what I've got for you guys today. So um, on, real quick, one thing I want to cover on uh, YouTube, my uh, channel name is Zero Was Cool, uh, just all spelled out. But you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, pretty much all the social networks under Lord Vapor, V-A-P-E-R. Um, so you can find me there if you guys want to follow me on there. I post vape related stuff on there all the time. But I definitely want to thank you for uh, your guys' time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Vape on!